Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up this week. Not quite rejected in the betting, there were a couple of horses more fancied than he was, but this Robert Pearson trained four-year-old colt was much the best in Saturday's richest race at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. A Jamaican combo on top Saturday at Florida's Gulfstream Park, jockey Anthony Thomas winning for Leon Minot, a former international footballer, now a racehorse trainer, and super jockey Frankie de Torre, the 53-year-old, with six wins in a row at Santa Anita Park in California, including the rich Santa Anita Oaks. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean success on the North American continent, our opening story from Jamaica. Eight starters for Saturday's richest event at Caymanus Park, a restricted stakes race over five furlongs straight, including a couple of winners last time out. The eight horse, Solomon Sharp's Box Box, the favorite with Jerome Innes aboard. At number five, PJR Racing Club's Princess Amali with Panamanian jockey Josue Osorio in the saddle. There's the field and the odds. The morning line favorite, she's a god gift. A late scratch, number three, Kem at nine to one. Five, Princess Amali, the second favorite at seven to five. Nine to one on the six horse, legit boss, who hasn't won since scoring in the pick three super challenge as a two year old over Mamma Mia in November 2022. Number eight, Box Box, the top choice at even money. And number nine, rejected Raja at five to one. His form not the best, but he enjoys the straight course. Let's get the race call now with Kevin Burnside. Picking up rejected Raja with Robert Halladine aboard in the red cap, about to unleash a winning surge. As they make their way and come out to the shoot, they're coming to the two furlong point, and it is box box right there too. Princess Amali, also there, that's rejected Raja. Legit boss is right there too, also coming on the far side. That strike smart, they're still wide open. Anybody's race, and they come to the furlong pole. It is rejected Raja, just the leader, and begins to come away. It's rejected Raja, Princess Amali chasing in vain, but it's rejected Raja, beginning to pull up. Huntsman coming late, it's rejected Raja, beating Huntsman. Then comes uh, Princess Amali. Second to the then unstoppable Mojito in the Prince Consort stakes a year ago, rejected Raja has been winless in his last nine starts. Advertises his comfort over the course. Three of his four career wins have come over the straight trip. The WB Racing's rejected Raja in those familiar colors worn in the past by 2018 Horse of the Year and Diamond Mile winner Will in Charge. Rejected Raja scores with authority by two and a quarter lengths under Halladine for trainer Robert Pearson chased by Princess Amali and Huntsman, clocking one minute and four-fifths for the five furlong straight course. Saturday's trophy event on the card was a Robert Darby Senior Memorial honoring the trainer with over 600 winners they call the Claiming King. And it was champion jockey Ryan Lewis aboard the favorite Storm, attempting a gate-to-wire run over seven furlongs in the 13-horse field. Storm blowing strong on that lead, leads up by some three lengths. Power continues the chase, a break back of four lengths to Tigre Express. Wins Princess has to make ground with Catalina Nakamura under a ride, has several lengths to catch those leaders, along with a Colorado Ranger and Justin Biden. But the field have turned for home. They're at the top of the lane, and Storm has that lead. Lead. Power has completely blown the turn and is on the extreme outside. Three sixteenths of a mile to run. Storm continues to lead over on the rail. Power running widest of them all, hanging on for second up for a long to catch Storm. And Storm continues to lead from Power. In behind them, Justin Biden, Wayne's Princess, and Catalina asked to run on. But Storm inside the final sixteenth. This is the Robert claiming King Derby Senior Memorial Trophy. They won't stop Storm. Storm wins easily in the end by maybe five over Justin Biden. Unchallenged in deep stretch, the nine-year-old Gelding Storm makes it three wins in his last four starts. Fit again champion jockey Ryan Lewis, whose career was jolted by an injury in October, closing a three-timer on the eight-race card. Peter John Passard and Sylvester Subaran Storm wins the Robert Darby Memorial Trophy race by five and a half lengths as a six-to-five favorite, chased by the eight-to-five bet Justin Biden. One minute, 29 seconds, even the winning time for seven furlongs for trainer Peter John Passard. To Florida now, where ex-Jamaica champion jockey Anthony Thomas now has 14 wins since leaving Jamaica last summer. Two of those victories now for Leon Juvenile Minot, former Jamaica international footballer, now racehorse trainer. The pair linked up in Saturday's $41,000 maiden claiming first race for Phyllis and Mears, three-year-olds and upward over six furlongs with a 14-to-one shot slender slipper. They're in fifth here, but close enough to strike 
watched in the com box by Peter Yellow. They have less than three furlongs to run. It's Brown Eyed Beauty and Apprentice Ray Martinez on top by a neck. Fluffy is second. West Bank getting ready to launch her bid. She's in the clear now for Bravo. Third, a length and a half behind. Quickly backing away is Exotic Dancer trying to wind it up from the back. Did I dazzle you as they reach the top of the stretch? They went the half in 47 and 3, and they're on their way home. Brown Eyed Beauty comes off the turn, three on top. West Bank to the attack, second up the rail. Slender Slipper running home pretty well. On from the back, it's Did I Dazzle You. They come past the eighth pole. Brown Eyed Beauty has the lead. West Bank trying to get her at the rail. Slender Slipper. Did I Dazzle You charging hard late. 16th to go. Here comes Slender Slipper at the rail. With a rousing rail. Run Thomas the Caymanus Park champion jockey 2018, 2020, and 2021 gets Slender Slipper home by a half length at 14 to 1 odds. For trainer Leon Minot, who played for Jamaica's Reggae Boys in the late 1980s and early 90s as a defender, Thomas and Minot had teamed up in late January for a maiden claiming win with a four year old gelding and Tillion at Gulfstream, and they are at it again. Slender Slipper in another maiden claiming triumph, getting the better of the four to five favorite West Bank via Thomas's fine ride clocking 114.18 for the six furlong trip. And finally, there is no jockey quite like Frankie de Tori is there. His style, brilliantly impulsive. This riding genius, the 53-year-old Italian, decided to change his mind last year from retiring, and he's now enjoying racing in California. He told reporters he wondered if he was dreaming after riding six winners in a row at Santa Anita Park on Saturday. One of those wins in the $300,000 Santa Anita Oaks. He was aboard the 7 to 1 bet, nothing like you, who was not expected to beat her Bob Baffert stablemate, but did, coming through here with a rail run. Kinza, Corposo, Copian in between them. The rail opens for Nothing Like You, and what a run from Nothing Like You, who runs by her stablemate, Kinza, and opens up with authority. Nothing Like You, and Frankie DeTori turning the Santa Anita Oaks into a romp. What a tremendous performance from Nothing Like You, who wins by eight widening lengths. That was the fifth of his six victories in the end, missing the record for wins on a single Santa Anita card by one. That mark of seven held by Lapite Binquet from March 1987. The Tory really pleased with his Oaks win and enjoyed the ride. The Philly, she don't like the kickback too much, but I was lucky to have a decent break and uh, ever in a good position where I was not getting any kickback. And uh, I was fully loaded the quarter pole. I just needed a bit of, bit of room and she took off. The Tory abandoned his retirement plans in Europe to keep riding in California and showing he still has a magic on an extraordinary afternoon. Nothing like you upsets in the Santa Anita Oaks at 7 to 1 odds over the 1 to 2 favorite Kinsa in a Bob Baffert 1 2. 1.43.21 the winning time. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA. Now, before we go, in the past week since our last show, I've counted 17 victories. Among them, the Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton with three wins in Florida, two of them at Tampa Bay Downs and one at Gulfstream Park, where the Barbadian trainer Sapit Joseph Jr., the champion there, had a Thursday double. The Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage had two wins at Aqueduct and the TNT-born trainer Uriah St. Louis had two wins at Parks Racing. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings check us out next week when we review the world famous grand national showing live on sportsmax saturday morning